He really is. Well, the Jazz lead 96 to 89, but Mark Cuban is livid right now. He may be cracking out his wallet because he just got into it moments ago with Jerry Sloan. What he's upset about is he says the shot clock and the game clock are running after the whistle, and that's his big complaint right now. But during that last exchange, Jerry Sloan and him got into a little verbal debate, and uh, we'll have to find out. I, I'm sure they weren't exchanging travel plans for game three. I know, I know one thing, Todd. He's saying you're a joke. I know that's one thing with a few other adjectives in there. Mark nor anybody else wants to get into it with Jerry Sloan. Take my word. Jerry Carl is 11 of 13. Jerry Sloan is a great coach, but so is Don. Last question, please. Uh, Jerry, what was all the, the jawing with Cuban about at the end there? Did I say something to Cuban? It looks like there was no, I was talking to the guy up, uh, up in the stand. I didn't know it was Cuban. I don't know him personally. The guy in the stands? Uh, uh, no, I don't offend anybody. He's long distance. As long as it's long distance, not a problem. That's usually what I deal with guys long distance. Whenever they get up a little closer, I don't have a problem with it. Okay, thanks, Coach. Okay. Theater of the absurd going on out there at the Delta Center. Tough guy. I mean, right. hey, he's a tough I, guy. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I know he's, he's legit. legit. He's legit. He's legit. He's legit. That's, that's not, that is official. That, Everything that he said was great. Line. Was real. That's and, and he also sent Norm Van Leer into the stands <laughs> to, to take care of his, his light work. 